In this video, we are going to take a look at, common mis at a common misconception that students have when they're developing their place value understanding. Now let me take a moment to describe the difference between a misconception and a mistake. Both often lead to a wrong answer, and so if we don't dig into how the students are thinking about it, we don't often know if it's a mistake or a misconception. So a mistake is often when a child misremembers something, like a fact or a procedure. It happens usually when they're trying to follow a rule and a procedure, but they don't remember the exact steps. Or they see a fact, like sometimes when I see four times three, I think seven, just because I see four and three, and I think that makes a seven, because I added instead of multiplying. That's a mistake. That is not something based in my understanding of mathematics. And that's when misconceptions happen. Misconceptions actually happen as a natural development of students' understanding. They, what they are doing in the moment makes sense to them. It is based on their mathematical understanding at the moment, not just because they misremembered a fact or they didn't do the steps properly. Okay, so that's the difference between mistakes and misconceptions. So when it comes to place value, a common misconception that kids have is that they will have trouble with reversing numerals. For example, if the number is 17, they might want to write 7, 1. Now the reason that this is an issue is because it really does get to the heart of that kids aren't understanding what the number means and its value. So we really want to encourage you to be having kids think about what 17 means. 17 is 110 and seven ones. And you don't get that from the name 17. We really have to highlight that in maybe saying it differently, like 10, seven uh, means 17, doing lots and lots of manipulative work, having them see it in 10 frames with place value blocks, um, base 10 blocks, right? Place value blocks, that's what I, I interswitch those, uh, using place value cards. And just hearing the numbers, really enunciating numbers as we're saying them, so that kids start to understand what these numbers mean and the value of each of those digits is a huge, huge deal. All right, now it's your turn. Let us know down in the comments about a common misconception that you're seeing students have when it comes to understanding place value. What are they struggling with as they're developing their place value understanding?